It is Monday night, February the 6th, 1967. At the arena on the campus of Southwest Missouri State College here in Springfield as the defending 1966 MIAA champion Bears take on the Bearcats of Northwest Missouri State of Maryville. The SMS Bears continue with conference play tonight after winning an 89-71 game against Northeast Missouri State of Kirksville here in Springfield last Friday night. This will be the Bears' 18th contest of a tough schedule this year. It will be SMS's first meeting with the Maryville Bearcats this season. The Bearcats have a fine team this year. Not only are they a fine defensive club, but they also rank as a good defensive point. The SMS Bears have won 14 of their games so far this year and came within one point of upsetting number one ranked Southern Illinois U. The Bears won all five of their contests on a recent road trip along the West Coast. That trip also included an appearance in the Chino Tourney, where the Bears took that championship. After tonight's game, the Bears only have five more contests before the NCAA Regionals. Starting tonight's game for Maryville, under the leadership of head coach Dick Buttridge, is number 33 Bob Nelson, a 6'2 junior point guard. The other guard is number 21, 5'10", sophomore Gary Goodson. At forward is 6'3", freshman, number 23, Mike Volmuth. 6'4", sophomore Ken Sheridan, number 45, is the other forward. And at center is 6'5", number 55, freshman Gary Simon. The leadership of the Southwest Missouri State Bears currently seated on the sideline watching final warm-ups. From left to right is head coach Bill Thomas. He is supported by Jay Kenzer as the assistant coach and by graduate assistant Gordon May. The SMR starting five for tonight's game begins with point guard number 10, a 5'10 senior from St. Louis, Jim Gummersbach. In the other guard position is number 12, a 6'4 senior from Branson, Missouri, Phil Shanahan. Starting at one of the forward positions is number 22 at 6'4", senior from Springfield, Danny Bolin. Number 54 is Curtis Perry. He is the starting forward, a 6'6", freshman from Washington, D.C. And at the center position is number 50, a 6'7", junior from Washington, D.C., Lou Shepard. Other members of the varsity ready for tonight's game are Mert Bancroft, number 52, a 6'6", sophomore center from Buffalo. Jack Ferguson, number 44, a 6'4", senior forward from West Plains. Wayne Rachel, number 14, a 5'11", senior guard from Buffalo. Max G, number 20, a 5'10", sophomore guard from Eldorado Springs. Greg Mess, number 24, a 5'11", freshman guard from St. Louis. And Willie Jenkins, number 40, a 6'3", sophomore forward from St. Louis. Don Carlson, a 6'6", senior forward and center from Republic, Missouri, while on the sidelines with the team tonight. Don will not be in uniform as he is recovering from a lengthy illness. If all goes well with the doctors, he should be back in uniform and ready to play next week. Junior varsity members ready for possible action in tonight's game are Paul Perkins, number 34, a 6'4 freshman forward from Steelville, Missouri. Mike Watts, number 42, a 6'5 freshman from St. Louis. Kenny Watkins, number 32, a 6'5 freshman forward from El Dorado Springs. And Larry Crudwig, number 30, a 6'8 sophomore center from Lebanon. Tonight's referees are Big Train Jackson and Bill Kane. The teams are getting ready for their final instructions from the coaches as we are moments away from the tip-off of tonight's contest. The teams are out on the court, officials are ready, and the clock is set to 20 minutes for the first half, and we are ready for the tip-off as Shepard steps in against Simon of Maryville. Shepard steps in to center court, and the tip goes over to Perry, then to Bolin. Bolin down court to Shanahan under the basket, who off the backboard puts it in for two points, SMS two to zero. Mary Mel Nelson at the top of the key, fakes left, passes to the post. Nelson passes uh, to Volmuth on the right side, waits back out front to Nelson. Nelson to Sheridan near the baseline, jumps and shoots. The ball is off the rim. Shepard comes down with the ball and passes out to Gummersbach. 
Gummersbach across the half court out front to Shanahan driving the lane. The ball to Perry who is, uh, takes a jumper from the left corner. It's rebounded by Shanahan, slapped away by Nelson. The ball is out of bounds off of Shanahan at the 19-10 mark in the first half.